Hello friends and uh, my wife and I we lost a lot of weight we got high blood pressure I got uh, high cholesterol and uh, high triglycerides and I got scared I wanted to live there's a reason why I got obese up to 280 pounds but in this video I'm gonna be talking about why diets do not work and what to do about it what works so I do borrow from Friedrich Nietzsche and I believe that man should not be a slave to an ideology. And because of that, you know, I do not follow any particular diet. The problem with the diets is that they became so overhyped that, you know, they make promises of miracles. And when a person goes on a diet and a miracle doesn't happen, they simply quit. And it leads to yo-yoing, which yo-yoing is actually worse than being obese. You know, it exhausts your body more than being obese. So you want to lose weight and keep it off. Another thing is that when you do follow a diet, you are letting somebody impose his views onto you. And Friedrich Nietzsche said that, you know, the biggest act of subordination for a human being is to accept somebody others, somebody else's views. So, and the biggest act of domination is to impose your views onto another person. Because of that, you know, if you follow a diet, you don't feel happy because you accept somebody else's views. Somebody else is imposing his or her or hers views onto you. And you never can be happy with that as a human being. I'm sorry, but that's reality. I understand that at college campuses, you know, they rage against reality. But, uh, you know, I'm going to be real. I'm not going to have any ideology here, but I'm going to be real. So how did I achieve the weight loss? How I went from 280 pounds to 215 pounds? Well, it was actually simple, but it took a long time. It took three and a half years. And right now it's closing on four years. Uh, initially, I simply... I did not eliminate. And another problem with diets, why they do not work, is elimination. No, just lower the frequency. And once you, once you lower frequency, sometimes you're going to be able to let go of the food totally. Like, for example, I used to drink delicious Wawa's chocolate milk. But it has a ton of calories and tons of added sugar. And, uh, you know, I started drinking less and less, and eventually I stopped drinking it. Then, you know, I started eating less candy bars, you know, and uh, that also lowered my help to lower my weight. Then I started drinking a hot chocolate, regular, then hot chocolate with reduced calories, you know, and there is always a price to pay. You know, for example, in my case, it's almost impossible for me to get diabetes because all I do, I'm going to pee the sugar out. However, even in my case, when I was, uh, you know, using a lot of caffeine and a lot of sugar, what it does to your body, it overworks your kidneys. And while it overworks your kidneys, your odds of getting kidney cancer doubles over the age of 70. So there is never, you know, free ride. Free ride doesn't exist no matter how your body reacts to different foods. So that's pretty much it. You know, small changes over a long period of time allow you to lose weight slowly in a healthy manner and permanently slow changes over a long period of time and lowering frequency of unhealthy foods that you're eating not eliminating but lowering frequency and sometimes it's gonna lead to elimination and do not follow over hype diets because you're never gonna be happy i mean some people maybe but that's minority. Majority of people want to have their own views. Thank you and see you later. And if you like this video, please, please uh, press, you know, a like and subscribe.